me apart from most people is I've been married to a Pakistani guy for 20 years. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I was married one for 10, yeah. I know. It gets weirder. We have 11 kids. Our what? kids. Oh my yeah. god. And people always tell oh. me, you mean to tell me 11 kids came out of your vagina? Oh my god. What? I mean, are you? I don't even know you, and we're gonna have this conversation about. My <laughs> Can I just get my grande latte? <laughs> I mean, they hear I have eleven kids, and they genuinely are concerned about the condition of my vagina. I think I'm gonna hold a press conference. <laughs> thank you, everybody. Good afternoon. I'd like to thank you all for your continued interest and support over the years regarding the condition of my vagina. We have plastic surgeons working round the clock. We hope to unveil my new bionic vagina sometime later this week. It'll have voice command and all of the download apps. My sister used to pick on me, my older sister, when I was growing up, and we have a great relationship now. You know, we're like, not talking, which is perfect. She thinks I judge her because she's alcoholic. I don't do that. I judge her because she's Jehovah's Witness. She's, you know, for Christmas, like she's an ungrateful Jehovah's Witness at that. For Christmas, I sent her a Prada bag, and she calls me, and she's like, I know you're aware that I don't celebrate Christmas, but I'm going to accept your gift as a token of the love that you have for me. How could a Prada bag be a token of the love that I have for her? A Trader Joe's bag, maybe. <laughs> but not Prada. And then she says, I filled it with Bibles and I use it to go door to door. <laughs> you don't put Bibles in Prada. You put Prada in Prada. I know, right? I wanted the bag back. But she probably does have better self-esteem. Because now, at least, as people are slamming the door in her face, she probably gets a ooh, nice bag. <laughs> Jehovah's Witness, like all these, like, I just can't stand people that have, like, rules and strict esoteric concepts in their faiths. No thanks. So my husband's Muslim. <laughs> people have stereotypes about him. They're like, isn't he constantly trying to convert you? God, that stereotype is just so... True. <laughs> I thought about converting. Really, I, you know, but I just can't do it. There's one outfit. <laughs> <laughs> but one thing I do recommend is marrying somebody who doesn't have a firm grasp of the English language. <laughs> it just takes the seriousness out of, of fights. <laughs> Brenda, I specifically asked you. <laughs> oh, and I atlantically forgot. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Another huge difference is the food, right? Because Americans usually like to bless their food after it's been cooked. Pakistanis, they send their mullah out to, to, to pray for the animal as it's being sacrificed. And they sacrifice everything. They'll sacrifice lambs, goats, any reason to have a joy in your life. <laughs> and they have so many restrictions on what they eat, right? They don't eat pork. They can't eat anything that has claws in it. You know what else they don't eat? self-esteem in America because people are so racist towards them. My three-year-old came home from school the other day. He's like, Mommy, what's a towel-headed taxi-driving terrorist? <laughs> oh, honey, it's what you're going to be when you grow up. <laughs> but don't worry, you'll make great tips. You're half white. <laughs> 